I'm Anita and this is UNE Discovery Voyager Online. Now you might have played creative chemistry with us when we've explored something called pH, otherwise known as the power of hydrogen. So does this chart look familiar? So pH measures acidic and basic substances. So the more acidic, think sour like lemon, and the more basic, you might want to think of something like drain cleaner, which is all slimy and gets in and cleans your drain by going through it. We can measure pH using something called an indicator, which indicates how acidic or basic something is through colour. And guess what? You can create your very own indicator using purple cabbage. Check it out. Wow, fancy this being something you can do science with. <laughs> so, what do we need? Well, of course we need a purple cabbage. Voila. We need five glass jars or glasses like this. Preferably a bit cleaner than ours are. And you need five things that you might like to test for the pH level. And you need an adult helper. So we have got white vinegar. We have got laundry soaker. You could just use laundry detergent. We have bicarb soda. We have a lemon. No guesses for the, what that's going to be. And we have very topical hand sanitizer. So that's our five things. You also need a pot of water, a sieve, uh, a chopping board and knife, and you'll need to be in a kitchen with a stove top. Now you might want to pause this video while you gather what you need for your experiment and while your adult chops up your cabbage to look like this. So 30 minutes later and our cabbage water, which will act as our indicator, is ready. Look at that gorgeous purple colour. So here is our liquid indicator that we strained from our cabbage. And once it has corked, we poured it into there. I just want to see what this looks like. Look at all the colour drained from that purple cabbage. Some of it's green, looks a bit like tortellini. Look at that, not tortellini, fettuccine. Okay, so we have about a thousand mils or a litre of the indicator, and we want to pour equal amounts into the glass jars. So a thousand divided by five, that's right, is 200. Well done. So once it's cooled down, we'll do this. Ours is a little bit warm still. That's about 200. 200. It's such a pretty colour, don't you think? Soon, of course, it won't all be purple. It will should be all different colours. Oh, now we've miscalculated. Look at that. Only got a little bit left there. So I will pour a little bit from each into that jar. One, two, three, and four. Okay. Now we're ready for the fun bit. We want to check out the pH of our different substances here. First one, vinegar. You ready for the colour change? Here we go. Okay, so it's turned a pink, cerise. Very pretty. I wonder what that's indicating. Now let's use our laundry soak. Oh, here we go. Swish that around a little bit. 
green. That's pretty. Oh, this is a fun one. Here's our lemon. Let's see what colour that turns. Here it goes. Similar to the first one, but do you think a little bit more red? Could be. Now our bicarb soda. Let's sprinkle some of that in there. Whoa. Oh yeah, that's a nice colour. It's a real bluey green. Or a greeny blue. Cool. And our last one, now this is totally new to us here. The hand sanitizer. You think that if we're putting that on our hands, what do you think the pH level should be? We're thinking maybe it should be fairly neutral, but let's have a look. One, two, three. Is it changing color? It's not changing color. That's promising. One more for good luck. Oh. Okay, there we go. Right now we need to get our chart and see what pH levels are being indicated here. 